Okay, today we're going to have a look at how you can transfer your pictures across from your Nokia N70 over to your Mac. Usually you'd go about doing this by loading up your gallery on your phone and then going into images and video. What you'd find is if you try to do it this way you will have to actually transfer your images one at a time via Bluetooth which can be a bit of a pain. So what we're going to do today is go over a uh, special technique which will let you transfer all of your pictures in one go over to your Mac. Right, so on your Mac, if you turn on Bluetooth to start with, what we're going to do is actually go into the Bluetooth preferences, and under the sharing tab, we'll go under Bluetooth file exchange, and we'll change the setting for when receiving items from prompt for each file to accept files without warning and in case you, you want to change the location of where your pictures would be stored you could uh, alter this setting here but for now we're going to leave our pictures on the desktop so once you've done this we'll go ahead and uh, transfer the pictures across on the phone right so back on the phone uh, we're going to go into tools and then we're going to look for an application called File Manager. We go into that and then we'll press the right key to move from the phone's memory to the storage card. Go into Images and then move across to the first image we've got stored on there. Click on Options. Scroll down all the way to Mark, Unmark. Click on that and select Mark All. Once we've done that, we do option scan, send via Bluetooth, and uh, your phone will start searching for devices present, and it should detect your Mac. Once it's done that, you can do select, and it will connect to the MacBook and transfer all your pictures across. So as you can see it's transferring all of the pictures in one go over Bluetooth and all of them are being placed right here on your desktop all in one go. Once that's done you can quite safely close this window and you'll have all your pictures ready to use here. You can import them into iPhoto or whatever application you like using but they're all right here on your desktop.